Hello, my name is Larry, and in this series of videos, I'm going to show you the Placer Track Stabilizer, the PTS-90C. Immediately following tamping work or ballast bag cleaning, not all the ballast stones are laying in a compacted position. If the railroad does not stabilize the track, then they have to operate a certain amount of tonnage over the track at restricted speeds. The stabilizer units vibrate the ballast, which causes it to settle and therefore increasing the tonnage and speed over the track. Placer and Toyer developed a dynamic track stabilizer to avoid these temporary speed restrictions. The dynamic stabilization also means, one, building up a homogeneous structure of the ballast bed, two, raising the resistance to lateral displacement, three, enhancing safety against track buckling, and four, longer service life of the track. I'm going to do a walk around of the Placer Dynamic Track Stabilizer PTS-90C. This machine is approximately 44 feet long and 97,000 pounds. Here we have the rear cabin for the PTS-90C. This cab is used for traveling the machine in this direction. Over here we have the, the air connections to our trailer. We have a trailer hooked up. We have an air conditioning shutoff valve here. The air conditioning unit can be turned off if it's not in use to divert the oil to the oil cooler. Starting on the right side of the machine, we have a stop box. There are four of these, one on each corner of the machine. We have an emergency stop button and a horn button. Next up, we have our drive axle. On our drive axle, we have a two-speed gearbox and a hydraulic motor. Next up, we have our hydraulic oil cooler. Moving forward, we have our rear stabilizer unit and our front stabilizer unit. It has two sets of stabilizer units. Each stabilizer has two clamps or clamp rollers, two hydraulic cylinders for lifting and lowering of the stabilizer units, four rail sensors, two gauge compensation cylinders, two lowering lasers for measuring the rail heights. Here on the right front of the machine, we have our hydraulic driven front axle. Moving forward, we have our air conditioning shutoff valve. And up above, we have our air conditioning heating unit. Here at the front of the machine, we have our pneumatic and our electrical connections that hook to a double broom as per customer requirements. On the other side of the machine, we have multiple electric boxes. These boxes contain output modules that provide various signals for different components. Here we have the battery box and the battery disconnect switch. Okay, next up we have our hydraulic fill pump with electric control, our filters for the fill pump, our diesel fuel drain, our hydraulic oil drain, our gearbox oil drain, and our engine oil drain. Now we're on top of the machine and we're going to show you some components up here. This is our main cabin, which we'll discuss in detail in an upcoming video. Over here we have a spare hydraulic hose rack, a toolbox, eight counterweights at 3,100 pounds each. Up next, behind our counterweights, we have a hydraulic tank. This tank has a capacity of 150 gallons. If you have to top it off, you can use a Shell Telus T46 hydraulic oil. Behind the hydraulic tank, we have a pump drive gearbox. It has two travel pumps mounted on it and a work system pump piggyback to one of the travel pumps. The hydraulic gearbox is driven by the diesel engine which is 340 horsepower at rated speed. This concludes the overview of the PTS-90C. In the next video, we will show you the cab components and controls. Thank you and have a good day.